Welcome back to Las Vegas. Now I'm Rocky Fiaz, and it is time to get cooking with Nanny Bubby. She is joining us live via Skype to share a delicious recipe for, for a lasagna cast iron skillet dinner. Hey, Nanny Bubby. Hey, Rocky. How are you? I I'm got started good. just a little bit before you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It is nice to see you live again. Yes, nice to work with you twice. So <laughs> I wanted to just tell you that I challenged myself to do about a 20-minute prep and get it all done in about five minutes. So okay. if you hang in there with me, oh, I'm yes. going to go ahead and, uh, and tell you what we're doing. We're making a skillet pan, cast iron pan lasagna, all in one pan. You know, sheet pan dinners are really big things these days. Yeah, so we're going to do this in a cast iron skillet. And if you don't have one, this is called a lodge. You can pick it up at any hardware store. So if you want to get started with a cast iron skillet, this is the one to get started with. This one's a little too small for me, so I'm using this bigger one. And what I started with is some onions. And I put salt on the onions so that I could sweat it. I love saying that because all the best chefs say sweat your onions yes. because that helps them brown just a little bit more quickly. I added a pound of hamburger meat to this. And this is sausage, chicken spicy Italian sausage. And we're adding this in. Mm, I can smell it from here. I love it. I can smell, smell all that here. cooking. <laughs> we're going to put in a little bit of red chili flakes. For a little spice. To add some extra spice to it. And we're going to saute this down. Now, this will take about 7 to 10 minutes. Okay. What you want to do is make sure that the meat is not pink anymore. We don't have time for that. So I'm just going to speed ahead and just tell you that you're going to add then this entire can of crushed fire roasted organic tomatoes and about three quarters of a jar of my favorite liquid gold or Rabiata sauce by Rayos. Now that's going to be really runny and really liquidy, but you then are going to let it cook down until it gets nice and rich and thick about seven to I don't know, 10 minutes, and you can see that the sauce is very Ooh. rich and very thick. So all of that sauce and liquid cooks down. You're going to transfer it into a bowl just like I did. Don't worry if you don't scrape the bottom out because you're just going to add it back in. And here we go. We're going to layer. Ready? We've got, you're going to do two oh, or three layers. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. And we hearty might have and time. filling. We'll fill we'll yes. feed the whole family. <laughs> yes. And here's the next tip. You want to do this with no-boil lasagna noodles. They okay. come from Trader Joe's. It's the best place to find them. They come in this size of a sheet. We're going to crack them in half and just lay them right here on top of the meat. Gotta love Trader like Joe's. They always have everything ready for you. I'm telling you, <laughs> you know, I always have my favorite places. So just layer them in. Here we go. We're gonna put that on top. Then we're gonna do a dollop of this ricotta. Now, if you notice, oh, there's this is the next tip. The egg in here is not for anything, but it helps to hold the ricotta together because when it hits the heat, mm -hmm. it just starts to get milky, and you don't want that. So the egg and the ricotta will keep that from happening. That's okay, a great we're going to take, there we go, we're going to take the dollop of ricotta and spread it Ooh. right over the top. Okay, our Sticking mouths are watering over bit. here. This is not fair. Oh my God, I love that. <laughs> it's not I fair. You tell me that. I love it. That's like better than a Valentine's Day. <laughs> then we're gonna put, <laughs> then we're gonna put uh, mozzarella and Parmesan and sprinkle that on top, just like that. A little bit more. Our camera guy said, That's "Dump the whole bowl." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then sprinkle a little more Parmesan. And then you're going to start to layer all over again. So you're starting with the meat all over again. Whoop. Get it. Oh, yeah. Yep. And Amazing. now, because we're running out of time, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you. You layer this just up, just like I did about two layers. Okay. Got to lift that finger so I can take us over, yes, to the, um, Ooh, to the uh, Chapman Magic Oven here. Sorry, got to get the mitts on. And then you can see, look at this. Is this gorgeous? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Do you see wow. that? Let me put this here. Take this oven closed. We're going to pair this with, we're going to stick a little basil in there. Delicious. A little bit of the chiffonade right there. Wow. And then pour a glass off. of wine. 
and you are set. Yes, <laughs> and that's it. Wow. Pair it with a green salad, we're all done. You you it. never I cease to it. amaze us, my Nanny Bubby. Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Thank you so much, Nanny Bubby. We always love your recipes. Check out Nanny Bubby's Kitchen and Garden on social media and online at nannybubby.com. We also want to thank Chapman Automotive for sponsoring that segment.